Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy in this hard times. Today in this exciting tutorial, we will be learning about how to create this super realistic 3D projection in After Effects without any external plugins. This tutorial will have some good tips and tricks about After Effects. So be sure to check it without skipping. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new project. I will bring our stock footage onto our composition panel. We will create our composition using our stock footage so that we can have the comp as same settings as our stock video. Drag this video on this icon to create a new composition. Let's play it. Here we have this mobile charging video. As you can see this battery and its charging animation, we will create it as a 3D projection from this phone. It's super simple and anyone can do it in just a short time, even with little to no knowledge about After Effects. Now let's start creating our 3D projection effect. Click on this video layer and press Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate it. We now have two videos of the same, we will hide the bottom layer for now. We will use this top layer to isolate our charging animation which shown on this mobile. Make sure that the top layer is selected. Take the pen tool. We will create a mask covering only the animation that is shown. As you see, our masked part is the one that is visible now. Select the layer and press M on your keyboard to bring mask properties. If I click on the invert, you can see what is happening more clearly. As shown, the masked place is showing a hole which we created. Now unselect the invert so we can focus on our effect. Here we have our charging animation with our mobile phone screen. In order to remove that phone screen, we just have to turn the phone screen to complete black in color except the animation. We don't need to use the key light for keying out that certain color. This technique is far simpler and more effective than key light. Go to effects panel and type in curves. Take the curve and place it on top of our video layer where our mask is. Go to effects control panel. Here we have our RBG curve. Since our phone screen in light black, all we have to do is just bring the shadow in the curves to make it complete black. Click on the center to create a point so that our curve won't change any midtones in our video. Now just bring in the shadows until our phone screen turns complete black. Now that looks good. As you see there are still some light black left. Bring the highlights back to its original place. That looks little better. Again bring the shadow real good. That looks super perfect. We now completely turned our phone screen to complete black leaving only the animation. If I hide the curves, you can see the before and after. Now unhide the second video layer. As you see, we now have only our mask with black background and our video. We will place our projection in 3D space. Click on this last box to convert this layer into 3D. 
change the view from 1 to 2 with horizontal. Now use the Z, Y and X axis to place the mask in front of the screen like a projection. We will bring it a little to the right and little forward in Z axis to make it look like a perfect projection. That looks great. As you see, now we have our screen projection of our mobile. Since it's just the same video so we don't have to worry about the time lag, both will play all at the same time. You can tell, there is one thing that needs to be removed, and that is our black screen on our animation. It's super easy. All you have to do is just go to the blend mode here. Change it to add. There, we now removed our black screen in fraction of a second. Let's play it and see the magic. That looks super awesome. We created this projection with just a curve effects and a blend mode, that's all it took to create this effect. Now that we remove our black screen, we just have to create that projection ray effect to make it look more dynamic. Right click and create a new solid. I will change its color to some deep green. Click OK. Select the layer and press T on your keyboard to bring the opacity and decrease it. We will now create a circle mask around our animation to give the projection look. Take the ellipse tool and make sure our solid layer is selected. Hold Shift on your keyboard and make a circle. place it in the center. We will convert this solid layer to 3D layer and rotate it to match our animation. Again press D to bring the opacity and increase it a little. Press R on your keyboard to bring the rotation. Use the orientation to rotate it to match our animation. That looks good. Now press F on your keyboard to bring the mask properties. Increase the feather a lot. That looks super perfect. Change the blend mode to overlay to make it even more realistic. We now have that 3D projection look to it. You can decrease or increase the opacity as you want. I will leave it at 45%. Now let's start creating our projection ray from our phone screen to our actual projection. Take the pen tool here, again create a new solid with the same color. Press T to bring the opacity and decrease it. Make sure the second green solid is selected and start making a shape like a projection ray. Bring it a little closer.
Now increase the opacity a little. Again feather its mask by pressing F on your keyboard and feather it. Decrease the opacity again a little. Bring the mask little closer. Now if you look closely, because of the mask our two green color solids are colliding in this intersection. Because of that, this part looks super saturated. We will dilute that by creating a second mask on our second green solid layer. We will create it right where our color looks saturated. Make sure your solid layer is selected. Take the ellipse tool and make a circle just like before. Bring it to the center. Move it little to the right so that it won't interfere with our projection ray. Press F to bring the mask feather, and feather the mask too. That looks good. Now all you have to do is just change the blend mode of the mask too from add to subtract. There. We now removed that super saturated layer part while maintaining that projection ray look. I will increase the opacity a little. That looks amazing. Now let's play it and see the final result. That looks super awesome. We now created that realistic 3D projection effect in After Effects and it looks super good. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Please keep supporting me and I will make more amazing tutorials like this. If you want this project file along with stock video to learn more about it, please visit the payhip link in the description. We are finally at the end of our tutorial, I hope you enjoyed this video, you can always download all my project files on Patreon, link is in the description. I will keep posting more amazing tutorials like this, please look forward to it. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section, I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this, hit the like button if you like this video, until our next tutorial stay happy, thank you.